Sega. Hello, my name is Andrew, and I'm here alongside Steven. We are Cal Gaiman, and welcome to our Let's Play of Sonic Colors for the Nintendo Wii. The colors, kids, the colors! We're heading back into the Sonic universe. This was, game was released in 2010 after the... Well, after the reception that Unleashed got half of it anyway, they decided to take the daytime stages and make an entire game based on this. And yes, this is not a jump cut, Steven. When you start the game, you go right into the stage, like the classics. This was the uh, one of a few so modern Sonics that I've not played. I played the ever living shit out of Generations and Modern Unleashed. They were awesome. Mhm. Mm you should. If you, I'm telling you, if you liked Unleashed and Generations, you'll like this game. Yeah, just maybe doubt it. Mhm. Can't find it for some reason. And all of the Sonic, all those moves from Unleashed and Generations, they are available right from the start, including the the Quick Step, the the Stomp, the Drift. Well, actually, the the Drift and. The quick step out limited to certain sections actually. Like the game will pop up a menu when you can use it, and using those will give you bonuses via points. Like you see there a checkpoint bonus. Does this game use the exact same like uh, control from the Wii version of Unleashed or is it entirely mm. different? It's entirely it's entirely remade to fit the HD version of Unleashed. The Wii and PS2 version of Unleashed were using a different engine. No. This is not the Hedgehog engine, but this is something close to it. Hello, Red Rings. Yeah, the Red Rings are back in this game. Uh, and they give, collecting them gives you bonuses to your rank, as long as grinding on rails. As for the boost, it's no longer filled by collecting rings, you collect them by filling these white wisp capsules. So this game is much more emphasis on platforming than speeding than boost to win. And as you can see there, this also supports the GameCube controller. Yay! The game actually has four control types. You can use the Wiimote alone, the Wiimote and Nunchuck, Classic controller, or the GameCube controller. I just stick with the GameCube controller because it's the most comfortable of them all. How difficult are the red rings to collect in this game? Some of them are very difficult, but so most of them are not. Again, in this playthrough, I'll collect the red rings if I know where they are. And this is one of the few games where it's really, really tough to get an S rank. You can't. You, without the West, you're not guaranteed an, a, an S rank. I just got finished with collecting all the red rings in Sonic Forces. Ugh. Never again. <laughs> What's this? Another stage? And we've not even got an opening yet? <laughs> I, I, one of the things I do know about this, isn't it? Six acts per area? Yeah, it's six acts per area fall with a boss. Like the soundtrack. Yeah, this soundtrack is also amazing. Because. You know, it's one of those soundtracks where, you know, you, sometimes in Sonic soundtracks you can remember one particular area and all that, but this one I remember every single area. Is that the double jump you just used? Yes, this is where the double jump was introduced. It only activates when the target reticule is not on the screen. 
and that will when the target ready kills on the screen initiates the homing attack. Yeah, controls like ass and forces though. <laughs> And yes, you, those PA announcements you can hear Eggman in the background because this is a is theme park. Apparently, Eggman redeem is feeling bad about his past goals and he wants to make a theme park in space. But how can any human survive? Human go through this park? <laughs> <laughs> and those color capsules are basically wisps that we cannot get just yet because we've not unlocked them. This, the wisps are introduced in this game, they're basically an alien species which give Sonic abilities such as Drill, like Drilling Underground, or Laser, or Rocket, which will skyrocket him into the air. I've only seen the wisps in before, so I don't really know much about them. Ah, uh, this is where they first introduced. And that's a dick move, Sega. Red ring right behind the goal. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's counting out of your total points. Like, the first, the, po the way the points work is that it calculates how many you got during the stage, then it adds your time bonus, then your ring bonus. And this was the first ever Sonic game to, to well, main Sonic game to incorporate the new voice acting, which Roger Craig Smith as Sonic and yeah. Kate Higgins as Tails. I mostly know Kate Higgins as Sakura from Naruto. <laughs> the only the only returning voice actor with they kept from four kids was Mike Pollock as Dr. Eggman. Mike Pollock is so good. Like it's like at the beginning of Sonic X he tried to mimic Dean Bristol, but then as time went on he made his own version of the character. I never saw much of that. Probably uh, for the best. Ah, uh, you're not messing much with Sonic X. Ugh. I remember when this when these cutscenes were revealed back in 2010, and all the comments were like, "Tails that Tails sounds like a boy." <laughs> but just like every voice actor, not everybody was happy at first. There's a little detail actually about this elevator. It's supposed to be speedy, right? But it's designed like a snail. There's the ironic there. It says fun, eh? Fun in the sun? <laughs> Insert the red dwarf and you see here. <laughs> out of a sense of remorse for my past transgressions and is in no way associated with any sort of evil plot or premeditated misdeeds. You're lying! Speaking of Red Dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, Eggman's always got something up his sleeve. It's only a matter of time before this is revealed. It's like, what was it, Dr. Wily? Yeah, it's like, if there's any point where you don't think he's the main villain in a classic Mega Man game... <laughs> Which game had him with that ridiculous mustache where you could easily tell it was still him? <laughs> Mega Man 8 mm -hmm. or 7? And you remember this guy from Unleashed? Warbot? And this is where Qbot was introduced as well. The two silly robots to... The not scratching grounder to be Eggman's silly sidekicks. And the problem with Qbot is that his voice chip is broken. I'm convinced this is a gag at the change of voice actors. <laughs> I believe uh, the yellow one is voiced by Wally Wenger? Yes. Kirk Fort and Kirk Fortin does the voice of the Orbit one. And now we just unlock the Laser Wisp. Basically, basically the laser, what it does is it zooms, it lets you zoom in and if you see Scion gems you can bounce off them to get extra points. Oh, we just now getting to a save screen? Yes, after two stages in. Oh, you love Kingdom Hearts too. The prologue. Two, three hours long. Ugh. Is there enough characters? Yeah, there should be enough. Just enough. There we go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Ah, right. <laughs> oh, typical. Now we could select an icon. That would have been hilarious if you picked Eggman. <laughs> no, I decided to stick with Sonic. Because I'm, I'm the one playing him. This is your world map. And here is the... Yeah, there are no hub worlds, so you get a hub menu. Where you go to the you go to select the stage and bam you're there. Even the the men, the um the hub menus have their own music and the soundtrack will go for two minutes. This bit right here, you see that little icon there, that tells you you can use the quick step in that in this section of the stage. That's where unleashed we'd be having to collect them and medals and sun medals in order to unlock more stages. Aye. 
There's none of that here. Nope, it's just all the way through the beginning. The Red Rains, what the Red Rains do is they unlock levels in the game land, which is the multiplayer. Yes, there's a multiplayer mode where you can have up to two players race each other or work together to get a defeat stage. And defeat and the more red rings you collect, the more stages you unlock. And that icon when the wisp is sleeping, it means you cannot use it. And this is what the laser does. It does that and it gives you a shit ton of collar bonus points. And that's when you can guarantee an S rank if you keep on using the wisps. Plus, if you hit certain enemies in a row, it gives you a slam bonus. Uh, just that extra little Aye. Because they, to get an S rank, you need a shit ton of points. And yeah, also, they, they, the one thing they did good about the enemies is that, yeah, they brought back the egg pawns from Sonic Heroes and Shadow, but they're giving them different personalities in each level. I'm a little drunk here. <laughs> yeah. The double ju the control is a little bit slippery at times, but that's only it's only a deep problem when you have to deal with those really tiny platforms. It's not as bad as in forces. Yeah, forces control, especially when classic Sonic is awful. Yeah, it's like after generations it was a major disappointment. But we'll save that for a Sonic Forces playthrough. Yeah, unfortunately with these PA announcements, you can actually hear the, the sound files of them on YouTube, but they, for the end game they went with a realistic approach where the further you went, they would fade out. I love how the Eggpots are holding a welcome sign. Yeah, this is the Tropical Resort um, variant of the Eggpots, they always hold a welcome sign. But then you got the standard ones with do nothing. Fires and lasers! <laughs> this bit actually has two goal rings actually, depending on which path you take. You can take the lower path, which gives you low points, but you can take the high path, which gives you a lot of collectibles and bonuses with the wisps. That's a little fun, I'm guessing the higher path is harder to stay on. Though. Yes, you want to stay in the harder path. And there's the goal ring number two. <laughs> Yay! And the problem with Sonic Colors is that Acts 1 to 3 are usually considered the main acts. Acts 4, 5, and 6 are usually very short. I would say Sonic Force is short, like you can beat them in less than a minute if you're good. Who's that in the top right? That is the Gameland logo. That is, is it's essentially where you can play as robo versions of Sonic. And they have in five colors, so you can play as a black Sonic, a red one, green, or pink. Metal Sonic? Nope. Oh. He's not in this game. Ah, this thing, remember him? Oh. This, but this one's really piss easy. When you hit him, it gives you rings instead of bombs. This thing was the bane of my existence last night. No, wait, two nights before when I was going for all, all the, the collectibles mm -hmm. and stage completion and forces. Watch for the spring, that, that dash panel right here will send you backwards. And you see what I mean? Look, this stage is, I'm only 30 seconds and I'm already at the end. <laughs> But here I'm just trying to get some more rings for extra points, and level done. Imagine if you're supersonic this day, you get there so quickly, that's it. <laughs> Probably less than 20 seconds. That has to be a record, 35 seconds. But like I said, it's really hard to get an S rank in these are stages. Are you able to move in the ranking screen? Yes, you are. You, and if you break the, um, when you get an A rank, you can, in fact, you can break the numbers and the rank to get rings. They do nothing though, but it's just collectibles. But when you get an A rank, they give you one extra life. But if you get an S rank, you get three extra lives. So don't be surprised if by the end of this Let's Play, I ended up in the 90s in terms of lives. Oh man, that was crazy! Oh, I was reconfiguring my. This you know, this wisp right here with the curly hair is called Yakker. He's essentially the the leader of the group. Didn't you see? I absorbed those aliens and got powered up. Hi, Chris Redfield. <laughs> After a few seconds, they'd pop out of me. Uh, I find that hard to believe. Um, you're the one who's talking to a fucking alien, Tails. <laughs> <laughs> so you find... <laughs> hatching, ha, ha, because he's an egg man. Get it? <laughs> yeah, the writers must have felt really good about writing that line. <laughs> And this music piece right here for this hummer, I swear when you listen to it in the soundtrack, you can hear the words HI electronically. <laughs> as, in, as in welcoming you to the park. Maybe someone's done an instrumental version of it. Mm -hmm. And you can clearly hear it. No, it's not like song lyrics, it's like, it's like auto-tune lyrics. Uh, 
to use the wisps you pull down the now for the wisp, the laser one you can actually change the direction, but the way it works is you press the Z button to activate the laser wisp, but then you need to hold the analog stick in the direction you want to go, but the moment, because the moment you let go, you go zoom in. So when you hold it, you can change the angle of where you're going to go, but like I said, the moment you let go of the analog stick, you're going to zoom whatever direction you've chosen. And this act usually, this act is to test you on your laser wisp skills. Again, how would any human survive in this amusement park? <laughs> I think they'd be more shocked at the fact that you're destroying those totally friendly egg bots who friendly. aren't trying to kill you. Emphasis on friendly. <laughs> They're holding welcome signs. They're egg pawns. They're useless. They're welcoming you to the park and you're just destroying them. <laughs> you're evil. <laughs> how am I evil? I'm the one who's going through the park with no ease. That doesn't make sense. That sounded better in my head, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there was a ring ring down there, but I wanted to take that shortcut because you can see that little glow in there. If, if you hit that with a laser, it takes you on an alternate path. And level done. I'm not counting what the length of these ones. Yeah. <laughs> this is really short. Yeah, it is. S rank! Yay! And you get free. Teabag, teabag. Yeah, and every time you get an S rank, you get free extra lives. And throughout this playthrough, I'm going to be doing this every time I get an S rank. <laughs> if you ever accidentally press next without collecting the extra lives, one or, or two times, or, do you have to pick them up there for them to count? Yeah, or? because they will disappear. That's dumb. <laughs> or after a while, Sonic will lock onto a victory animation where he can no longer move. Right, this one is a platforming challenge. Where there's no boost in here, it's all based on your platforming skills. And plus, another thing about this game is that 85% of it is from the 2D perspective. Like the 3D is usually li limited to boosting or quick stepping or drifting. Like the moment, like these ones here, the moment you step on the buttons, the platforms are going to rotate in a circle. And yeah, the stomp is available right from the start. Unlike Unleash, where you had to find the upgrades and all that. But the only thing he does not have by default is the light speed dash. The draft in this. Yes, it is, but like the quick step, it's limited to certain sections of stages. Again, that graphic, the green graphic will pop up on the bottom screen to tell you when. And the, the, the thing about these, the, the, that, the, some of these stages, they have wisps that you need to go back and, and play with replayability. Like for a certain wisp, you can only get like halfway through the game, and then you go back and find more collectibles. Yeah. And that's how you get the red rings. And that is Tropicals Resort done. Now for the boss. Yeah, this is one of the shortest games in the Sonic series, but you know what? As long it doesn't matter to me, it doesn't matter how long the game is, as long as it's fun to play. Hi Mike Pollock. <laughs> I love this man's work. He's so good at what he does. No, I want you to get me a cheeseburger and a shake. Yay, McDonald's! What do you want? <laughs> And keep a notice on Cubots, this is where he's got the cowboy voice. <laughs> I think he's the most intelligent with the cowboy voice, actually. It's a major departure from the Riddler. <laughs> so what Eggman plans to do with these aliens is to harness their energy for for some for a powerful weapon he plans to unleash on the earth below. <gasps> You mean he lied? Yes. <laughs> Would you trust a guy with a with, with a with a ridiculous mustache and a bald head? Did Sonic just slap his ass? Yeah. <laughs> and I like this is the them explaining the joke. What's the red one called again? Orbot. Oh. Okay, Eggman. I don't want to see your big boy. I don't know what I don't want to know what it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here's your first boss, a giant ferris wheel. But the bosses are pathetically easy, and they're even easier with the wisps. Like, this guy will go down in three hits, and if you have the wisp, it can go down in one. Pathetic. Hopefully he just jumps on Q. Uh, <laughs> now I get the joke! <laughs> right, this is the first boss on Tropical Resort. 
what you have to do is you need to run up this, gain some speed, and then hit the core there in the middle. But, like I said, without the Wisps, it goes down in three hits. But if you have the Wisp, it, go it does double the damage. So you just got to keep your speed up, jump, and that's it. Wow. And the, what, the thing the, what these bosses do is they always bleed rings. So you can, I guess, to add more points, points to your score. I don't like how the timer's still going, though. That uh, can screw you out of your ass rank. And I'm just going to run in a circle. <laughs> and that's the first boss. Done. Ah. At least with an A rank, you could still get an extra life. But like I'm shown right here, you can in the ranking system, you can destroy the rank and get some rings. Because you don't have enough of them, apparently. <laughs> oh, this was the very first cutscene that leaked it. That was not not, not leaked, but shown off back in 2010. I'll tell you, was been walking for a yeah. second. It's it's an homage to the original design of his shoes, actually, because the way the the original creator of Sonic who designed him said that his shoes were inspired by Michael Jackson's boots in Bad, but with the colours of Santa Claus. Yeah, he had special shoes made specifically so he could do that. Mm-hmm. What is your quest? <laughs> no, insert Chris Tucker. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> Sakura just beat him up. Oh wait, wrong character. Uh, I think your machine still has some bugs. Yeah. Do you know they missed out a good opportunity with Lost World actually, the future game. Like you see this pad that it, Tails has got. They should have made a, a a custom Wii pad in the in the styles of that Mouse Electronic. And Tails gets downgraded significantly in Lost World too. He's in, he winds a lot in that game. And then he's even downgraded in Sonic Forces. Uh, and yeah, Sonic just pulled a Deadpool and broke the fourth wall there. <laughs> save them, save them over and over. Save them, save them. You mean that map that's right behind you there, Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> just turn around behind you, there's a map right there. <laughs> I love this piece of dialogue. <laughs> yeah, clean up the remains of their dead comrades. <laughs> like, even the recycle bins have got Eggman's logo on it. <laughs> oh, Opa wishes he can fly in that broomstick, broomstick like Harry Potter. Now that lays that cannon there, that's for later on, but look what's happened to it. Foreshadowing. And as that foreshadows it, we'll see you in the next part, folks. <laughs> <laughs>